Hello, hello, everybody. God bless you. Happy Wednesday. This is our Wednesday today. It is sunny out here. I apologize uh, if you see in a whole lot of glare here. And I'm going to try to um, fix it so that it won't be so glary. But yes, this is our Wild Wednesday for today. I'm happy to join you. And uh, our topic that we're going to share is some battles are not worth fighting for. Some battles are not worth, worth fighting for. And I know that a lot of times we want to take on battles that we did not anticipate. Sometimes our hearts are so open to want to um, partake of a, a battle that is someone else's, you know, and, and really it's not our battle to fight. Sometimes even in our life, God will let us know. Uh, he will guide us and show us that you're not supposed to fight this battle. You're not supposed to pick this up. Uh, you're not supposed to continue this. And some some things he'll he'll show you right away. You know, some things he'll show you right away. Uh, some things it takes time. After you go through a process of time, you'll realize, man, why did I do this? Why did I embark upon this? Why did, did I take this on? as my own you know and you have to use wisdom in situations because um you can get so wrapped up and tangled up in things that you feel so passionate about or you feel so driven to to embark upon to take on and you will literally drain yourself you will literally drain all of the energy out of you because you're taking on a battle that you're not supposed to fight. It's not designed for you to win because it's not your battle. See, when it's your battle, God will equip you. He will prepare you. He will show you strategies so that you can win the battle. But if you take upon a battle that God did not intend for you to take on, you will get whipped you will get exhausted. You will get beat down. You will feel all kind of physical, mental, spiritual warfare. You, you will feel all of those faculties draining. You, 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 you will find yourself so exhausted. And you're like, man, if I only just stayed away. You know, sometimes people want you to pray for them. Some, sometimes people want you to intercede for them. And there are times that you may pray or intercede. But when when it gets to the point where God reveals to you, uh-uh, oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, leave it alone, leave it alone. I got this. Leave it alone. Don't take this on. <laughs> leave this alone now. Then you have to listen. You got to listen to the Holy Spirit. You have to listen to your conscience. You have to listen to um your intuition tell you, you you can't do this you 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 can't do this you won't win you know you're fighting a losing battle because it's not designed for you to win it may be for someone else to take on but just not you you know um i have gone and i have gone through this and i i know because i'm talking about experience right now uh i've taken on battles and I fought so hard and it was so much opposition against me to the point where giving it up felt so much better. Giving it up felt like a burden was lifted off of my shoulders. Giving it up felt so free. And so I sat here and I was like, wow, I have gone through all of this. I, I, my family had to go through this part, you know, this, this, you know, I'm just, I'm just kind of going, give an example, you know, my family had to go through some things. I had to go through some things and everything seemed like it was just hell was breaking loose in my life because I was taking on a battle that wasn't designed for me to fight. And there was not going to be a win-win for me. So why should we take on assignments and battles that we're not going to win. It doesn't make sense, does it? 
God said he'll fight our battles because he's the one that's that's fighting for us. But oftentimes, there will be some things that will brew up. God said, okay, I need you to fight in this battle. I need you to war in this battle. And the way we war is different from the way the world wars. We war on our knees. We war before the Lord in meditation. We war interceding and praying and fasting. You know, we, we have to give up something. We have to be sacrificial uh, when it comes to war, you know, because we're not fighting with our fists. We're not fighting, you know, um, doing things that will cause, uh, you know, in the Bible where it says, you know, you reap what you sow. We don't want to do things that we sow and then we end up reaping it in return, especially when it's something that God did not intend for us to do. So we learn and how to listen to God and hear his instructions as to how to go about fighting in a war or how to go about fighting in a battle. And so, you know, I just said, you know, some battles, like I said, are not worth fighting for. You know, and your heart can be in it and you can have the desire to do so and you can want to do so, so bad. But it's not yours to take on. It's not yours to take on. And so in those situations, you just have to ask God to show me what to do in this situation. You may not want me to take this on, God, but you may want me to say, say a simple prayer and, and not carry this burden. Because if I carry this burden, my life is going to be affected. My children's lives will be impacted. My family's life will be in, impacted. The people around me will be impacted. And it may even affect my job, you know, my finances. And so you, you look at all of this, you weigh in all of this. And then you ask yourself, is it worth it? You know, and when you realize when it's revealed to you to let it go, then, it, then you should let it go. You should let it go. Okay, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I I can't do it. I already see past the problem. And I know that the answer is that I will lose. So I'm not going to take this on. You might say a quick prayer. You may keep them in mind when you're praying for your family. But just to take that on as this is my baby, this is my assignment, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to war through this thing. I'm, I'm going into this battle. You know, I'm putting on all my weaponry. Mm -mm, no. God saying no. <laughs> Stop. You won't win. You won't win. You won't win. So so we got to know. We got to know. And we have to process that. That some battles are not worth fighting for. Because you're going to lose. It's not designed for you to win. Because it's not your battle. So when we can process that, then we can move forward. You know, you love people. You know, you want them to be successful. You want them to be healed. You want God to perform miracles in their lives. You want their finances to be blessed. You want their children to be blessed. You want so many things. And I have so many people that I know that are going through right now. But God has not unctioned me to take on any assignment in intercession right now because I'm dealing with some things right now that are heavy in my own life. We're just coming out of something that we have been dealing with in my, in my family. And so, you know, to try to take on any more at this point, and I know that I have friends that I care about that are going through different things in their families God did not, he, he, he did not instruct me to take on anything else outside of what's happening with me and what's happening around me. And so I have to listen to the spirit and I could want so bad to pray and intercede and to be on my knees in consecration, but that it's just, I'm not in that season right now. But anytime I think of them, I send up a prayer. And I pray God's blessings over their life. But to take it on and to just really get deep into a battle, it's not mine. It's, it's not my battle to take on. 
So you you have to know this. You you have to accept that because sometimes you will feel guilty that you weren't there or you didn't do enough you didn't pray you know when things happen oh i didn't pray enough if, if i would have done this then you know things would have changed you you can't put that pressure on yourself you you cannot take it on as if you were the only option you know and god has plugged people placed people in positions to pray you know and sometimes you don't even know who may be praying for you. You don't even know who may be interceding for you. But the people you may ask may not have the time and they may not be in that season, that battle season, where they can give time to prayer and fasting or give time to really just cater to you or in your needs or in your family's needs. So, you know, uh, there has to be some understanding there. You know, there, there are a lot of things that I deal with, my family deals with, my husband, my children, what have you, that um, I don't even share a whole lot. And, and then the people that I share with is just very, very few. And I do that for a reason because I don't want people to feel burdened to have to pray when I know that I have people that are around me that are within my family that can intercede and pray. Um, and, and sometimes you can th throw things on people that's so heavy, man. They just feel the weight of that thing and they feel so obligated, you know, to, to sow their time, sow their seeds, what have you. And they take that thing on and, and they just really, really serious about it. And God said, well, you you seriously wrong because you're taking on this battle. I told I didn't tell you to fight that battle. I didn't tell you to, to fight in that battle. That's why you're experiencing so much opposition. That's why you're experiencing so, so, so much pressure. That's why you're experiencing uh, 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 so many things. And you're wondering, well, where is it coming from? Why is it coming at your doorstep? Why are you encountering things in your body? Why are you feeling the way you feeling? Why your marriage is, is on the rocks? Why your children are, are, are being wayward? And you, you have to look. You, you really have to assess everything that's going on around you. And God is not going to allow you to go through anything. And it will cause a whole lot of whirlwind, uh, hurricane type activities, tornado type activities in your life. You know, he's not going to put you in them type of situations. So we know that if those things start happening, it's like, man, this is something that I'm I'm not doing right. It's, it's something that I have taken on that I need to let go of, you know, because I bit off more than I can chew. I just can't chew this. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I have to stay where God wants me to be and, and, and whatever my position is then I have to trust God to know that he will lead me in that direction. And, and then I'll know, um, you know, if he, he desires me to do a certain thing, you know, people are, in, people are walking in and out of different seasons all the time, you know, and sometimes it's hard for us to, to know what season people are in, you know, everybody's not open and sharing, but you know, sometimes when things are silent in a person's life and you don't see them, then they're going through something. And if you're thinking about them, you may want to just whisper up a prayer, you know, uh, but you may not be able to handle their battle. So you just may not be, it may not be in your best interest. It's not wise to just pick it up and just carry it on. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to carry you, sis. I'm going to carry you, bro. You know, we got to use wisdom. We got, we got to pray and ask God. And if, if we're not the ones we pray, to God to send someone or to warm someone's heart to be that one to intercede, you know, because there are intercessors out there. There are people who that is just what they do. That is what their calling is to intercede, to pray diligently, you know. And so, um, you know, we, we have to pray that the right people in the right places uh, will, will be fighting in battles and wars that um, that need to be fought in because then if you're in the right place and you, you're doing what is required, then it's going to be effective. But if you, you're fighting something 
And it wasn't your fight. It wasn't designed for you. You won't be effective. You will not be successful. You won't win. So this is our Wild Wednesday for today. Some battles are not worth fighting for. You have to find out. You have to identify with that because not all the time will it be told to you. Sometimes when you get right in the thick of it, then you'll realize, oh man, this wasn't something I was supposed to be picking up. So God bless you all. Love you. I hope that something I said has encouraged you or has enlightened you. And um, we'll be back for another Wild Wednesday. All right, guys. Bye-bye now.